conflict and courage march 22nd god sent him exodus 3 10 come now therefore and i will send thee unto pharaoh that thou mayest bring forth my people the children of israel out of egypt the time for israel's deliverance had come but god's purpose was to be accomplished in a manner to pour contempt on human pride the deliverer was to go forth as a humble shepherd with only a rod in his hand but God would make that rod the symbol of his power. The divine command given to Moses found him self-distrustful, slow of speech, and timid. He was overwhelmed with a sense of his incapacity to be a mouthpiece for God to Israel. But having once accepted the work, he entered upon it with his whole heart, putting all his trust in the Lord. God blessed his ready obedience and he became eloquent, hopeful, self-possessed and well fitted for the greatest work ever given to man. This is an example of what God does to strengthen the character of those who trust him fully and give themselves unreservedly to his commands. A man will gain power and efficiency as he accepts the responsibilities that God places upon him and with his whole soul seeks to qualify himself to bear them aright. However humble his position or limited his ability, that man will attain true greatness who, trusting to divine strength, seeks to perform his work with fidelity. On the way from Midian, Moses received a startling and terrible warning of the Lord's displeasure. An angel appeared to him in a threatening manner as if he would immediately destroy him. No explanation was given, but Moses remembered that he had neglected to perform the rite of circumcision upon their youngest son. In his mission to Pharaoh, Moses was to be placed in a position of great peril. His life could be preserved only through the protection of holy angels. But while living in neglect of a known duty, he would not be secure, for he could not be shielded by the angels of God. In the time of trouble, just before the coming of Christ, the righteous will be preserved through the ministration of heavenly angels, but there will be no security for the transgressor of God's law. Angels cannot then protect those who are disregarding one of the divine precepts. Hope you have a great day today. Live courageously.